Hey guys, Mark here, Raining Wars. Welcome back. Folks, um, I have a, um, just a, just a, just a couple thoughts that just came into my head and I wanted to, um, do a quick message to just share with you guys. Um, you know, earlier today when I was, um, just, uh, I'll call it during my quiet time. You know, the thought, these thoughts came to my mind. You know, how many, how many of you out there have plans and goals and just things that you want to accomplish, things that you want, you want to get done? And, um, and, and you've been trying to do these things under your own strength. But you haven't been successful in what you're planning on doing. One, you have to ask yourself this question. Is the plan that you're trying to accomplish, number one, is God in it? Is it something that's your plan that you want to get done or is it a plan that you know that this is something that the Lord wants you to take on? And the reason why I say that, folks, is this. <clears throat> um, you know, um, God has a plan for each and every one of us. That he wants us to accomplish and we did another video on 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 you know we're talking about you know uh your plan versus god's plan but i i want to you know sort of throw this out there because i know a number of of our brothers and sisters out here right now because just the time the time that we're living in god is absolutely going to be um, elevating and putting people in positions, um, creating opportunity um, for different things to advance his purpose. And folks, we need to come in line with whatever it is that God plan is, because I'm telling you, <clears throat> that's the best plan. Whatever God has for you, it's for you. And he will give you the resources and whatever it is that you need to accomplish what he wants you to accomplish. Think about this and ask yourself, what you're doing, the thing that you've been working on, the plan that you've been, um, <clears throat> you know, the project that you've been working on, the, 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 um, you know, that, the, 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 I'll call it the vision of whatever it is that you've been working on, has it been working for you? And, and folks, be honest with yourself. Have you been running into a lot of walls? Has it been frustrating? And sometimes just nerve-wracking. Is it um, been a long time and it hasn't gone forward? You have to ask yourself these questions. And then what you want to do is take these questions to the Lord and ask God, God, is this... What I'm trying to do, what I want to have done, is this in line with your will for what you want to have happen in my life? That's the first question. That's the first, I'll call it primary and major question. Secondly, if it is the will of God, <clears throat> and it is something that God wants you to do, you know, Confirm, you have confirmation on that, you know that, that this is, this is, you know, hey, Mark, this is the thing that God wants me to do. 
This is the the um um the vision that the Lord has had for me, and, and I know that this is what God wants you. Okay. So then you go to step number two. Now you're in the will of God. It's the plan of God. Now here's a second question. Who's leading that plan? Are you trying to lead it? Are you trying to hump it and make it happen? Are you um, trying to resolve all things and you're working it out based on your knowledge and what you can do under your own effort? Is God even included and really should be leading you in this plan that he has for you? Because folks, I'm speaking and looking at myself in the mirror. <laughs> because I have to do that. I'm, I'm one of these kind of people that, you know, I, you know, you know, when it comes to getting things done and, and to do things, it's like a, you know, let's go hard. Let's, 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 let's do this thing. <laughs> let's get it done. But I'm come, I'm, I'm realizing and God is helping me or teaching me that Whatever plan God has for us, number one, he has to be involved. He has to be involved in it. In fact, he has to lead it. We have to involve him in it. To see the success that we want to go ahead and see and to have. Because folks, I'm going to tell you something. Even though there's been a lot of, I'll call it great shaking that we see out in the world. One thing that God is showing me is that in the midst of darkness, in the midst of, of um, you know, when things just look really, really bad, when things seem like um, they're caving in, and 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 um, there's, you know, when you look around and you just sit there, you, you, you know, you, you're just seeing a lot of restriction. You're seeing just a lot of hindrance. <clears throat> and um and and then you're you're hearing a lot of negative news out there saying hey you know what don't do anything don't you know don't um and I'm not saying folks that we don't we don't use wisdom what I am saying is when God is shifting things because we are in a time right now I, whether people realize it or they don't you know, God is in control of everything that's happening down here. All these things that are taking place, it's not, you know, God is asleep and he's like, you know, what's happening down there? No. <laughs> he's ruling and reigning. He's in control. And you know what, folks? His purpose will be done. The question is, are we coming in line with the purpose of God? Meaning, whatever it is that he has for us, are we getting in line with that? You know, are we lining up with where he is? Because that's where we need to be. Folks, God is opening up tremendous opportunities. <laughs> tremendous, tremendous opportunities, folks. The Lord is getting ready to bring forth. But we have to be on his page. And do it his way. Consulting him. And having him lead. In the midst of darkness. A tremendous light. I'll call it. Is, um, is rising. <clears throat> and. And in the midst of darkness. God can create tremendous opportunities. For his people. As he's shifting things around. As he's moving things around. As he's moving people out. Bringing people in. Rearrangements are happening. All kinds of stuff is happening. During the shaking. But. We have to position ourselves. In line with. His will for us. You know. He has great plans for us folks. Great plans. And so my message to you guys is, 
is make sure that whatever it is that we 